If you were worried that modern monetary theory could lead to hyperinflation, just like what was experienced in Weimar Germany, Zimbabwe or Venezuela, then there's good news. None of those examples, or indeed many other less famous instances, were caused by government creation of new currency. The increased printing of money happened after inflation had begun. In all these cases, the hyperinflation was really caused by a particular combination of factors that can broadly be summed up as debt owed in foreign currency, having to pay in money you can't create more of, reduced production output, the country's ability to generate value going down, insufficient adjustment of taxes, which leads to continued deficit spending, government spending more money than it collected in taxes and other revenue. In the next video, we go into how each of these factors shows up in the three most common examples mentioned before, and how they actually led to hyperinflation. There is also additional reading if you're interested in more detail than a short overview like this can provide. Weimar, Zimbabwe and Venezuela and their cohort aren't really examples of the dangers of MMT. They are situations where MMT's insights weren't applied with disastrous results. Subscribe for more videos from PEGS.